up the street, Appel, is another smaller hotel which doesn't get much attention, but has also been recently named one of the top 10 most haunted hotels in the United States, and that is the Chancellor Hotel. And the Chancellor Hotel has actually received a couple of letters from guests about their haunted experience in the Chancellor Hotel. This one's from 2009. And she said, this will probably be a slightly odd email to say the least, but it's a 100% serious one. I stayed in room 1501 this past week for the convention. On Wednesday evening, probably around 10.30 or so, I was getting ready for bed, and after listening to an audiobook on my iPhone, after turning it off and turning off the side lamp by my bed, I was overcome by an extremely cold sensation. Very deep cold, much more than a drafty room would give you and became aware of the appearance at the left side of my bed of what I believe was a ghost, probably about four or four and a half feet tall, and visible mostly by its head form and shoulders. It looked like a human shape, but I can't say that I recall exact facial features. I'll be honest, I was pretty confused by what I was seeing, thinking it was a shadow on the wall that I was casting, but the nightlight position of the bathroom and wall switches for that was impossible. I waved my arm to make sure it wasn't me and looked away and back several times. And it still stayed there. I wanted to make sure I wasn't having some sort of strange hallucination. I was extraordinarily confused at first because it never occurred to me that I would be seeing a ghost. It was only after I'd mentally rejected all other assumptions of what I could make, the shadow on the wall, that I realized the shadow was standing only a couple of feet from me. I am convinced that what I saw was real and that it was drawn to me because I had turned off the audiobook not, not long before. It was looking very clearly at me and seemed to be cocking its head as if to say, where did the story go? Once I realized what I was seeing and once I broke through my frozen panic, I buried myself under the covers and eventually the cold sensation went away. Neither the sensation nor the ghost reappeared for the remainder of my trip. Frankly, I didn't spend much time in my room after that, and I never played the audiobook aloud again. So that was 2009. The hotel actually received another letter in 2012, which was from a woman who, uh, who she checked in, and she checked into room 1401, so imagine my right below this room. The regular hauntings in this hotel report that the hauntings are on the 13th and 14th floor. They don't mention 15, even though they received a letter like this. But the staff is usually hearing about incidents on the 13th and 14th floor, and, they, and multiple people have referred to a shorter ghost. So who knows what it is? This woman checked in in 2012, checked into room 1401, and when she unlocked the door and opened the door, all of a sudden the door flew open as if there was a breeze. And, and as if somebody pulled it from, from behind. And she looked and she's like, ah, is there a homeless person in there? And she looked and, and not only was there no one there, and she was checking for a homeless person, but also the blinds were shut and the windows were shut, so it wasn't an actual breeze. And so she was just like feeling weird and this is funky. And so she went back down to the front desk and she's like, all right, I know that you'll think I'm crazy, but could you switch my room and maybe I can go in a different room? They were like, absolutely, ma'am, no problem. They switched her to the 13th floor room. She was a part, she was under an account of a VIP client of the Chancellor Hotel. And so they put her into a corner room and she got onto the 13th floor into her corner room and she was like, ah, my room. And as she's settling in, all of a sudden she hears a, against the wall. And she was like, oh my gosh, is there somebody in the stairwell against the wall? And she realized that she was in a corner room and there was no stairwell and it was an outside wall. And she was like, I can't take this anymore. And she went back downstairs and they were like, oh. And she's like, okay, do you have any rooms? Like, you'll think I'm crazy, but I think my room is also haunted. 
this room is also haunted. And they were like, oh, no problem, man. All the hauntings we hear are on the 13th and 14th floor. Let me give you a room on the fifth floor. She went to the fifth floor. She's texting her friend. Her friend was like, girl, if that hotel's haunted on the 13th and 14th floor, it's haunted everywhere. Get out of there. And so she like ran back down. She checks out, and she goes across the street. What's the hotel across the street? Much bigger. Sir Francis Drake Hotel. And she ran up to the front desk there, and they were like, oh. Welcome, ma'am. Do you have a reservation? She's like, no, I just got done at the Chancellor Hotel across the street, and I went into two different rooms, and both of them were haunted. I can't believe it. So just give me a room for the night, and that would be great. Your hotel isn't haunted, is it? And they were like, well, actually. 